Hi people and welcome back to a new episode of Minecraft Season 6. Between episodes I have done nothing but kill some Komodo dragons to get some eggs for the zoo. And you know pretty much nothing. I, I was trying to get some slime DNA but slime DNA is not a thing apparently. I mean it is a thing, a sample of slime DNA but you can't get that. No, through syringes. I'm not sure how I would get slime DNA. So if you look under DNA, can't find any. Like there's mutant, zombie, wolf, witch, villager, squid, spider, sheep, pig, ocelot, cow, horse, enderman, bat, creeper, cow, chicken, cave spider. But there's no slime from syringes. So that is cut up a florb from this. Cool. I've never used florbs before. They're from Thermal Expansion. It's like throwable liquid, sort of. So I don't know how I'm going to get the slime DNA. I might have to cheat it in because there's no other way to get it. So today we're going to make a magnetic disc and cheat in some slime DNA yet because there's no other way to get it. Maybe it's just a thing in this version. It's a bug, but... I looked in the config file as well and that didn't help. So we're gonna spawn it in I guess. But we're still gonna make the data real. Let's go to at mod dot mad and have a look here at the data real, the empty one, this one. And we're missing the stuff in the middle. Ah, the emerald circuit of course. There we go. You can get yourself a data reel. Excellent. Now we're going to combine that with 64 slime DNA, which I'm going to spawn in. As I said, there's no other way to get it. I've looked. There just isn't. So if we put that in here, give me 64 of that. There we go. Now we have to wait a sec because once this does it once, it will make the slime reel, and then I'll need to put the slime reel back in the slot. So like that. And we get the slime genome, which will give us access to eventually to the mutant cube. And there's the ender slime as well, I believe it's called. So that's gonna give us some mobs to have. Now we still have our woolly cow here. Fortunately it couldn't be dyed as you've seen before. What are you all doing, pigs? You shouldn't be out of here. No. No, not at all. Give me an XP. Also, I also died as well in an episode, between episodes, while getting the. Oh god, not this! I need to sort out the controls. God damn it! Anything that's bound to G must be removed. Like this, that can go to there, or it's got to be another G. This one definitely be removed. Done. I want my head and tool back. There we go. Let's put these in here. So we will need some sheep, no doubt, at some point. I've been following the progress of Mob Splice and the developer has added in the passion fruit tree. And I think, why the hell do you need a passion fruit for this? Well, that's... At the moment, I think it's golden apples to like breed more. But they're adding in like a special tree, special fruit. It's better than golden apples, I'm guessing. Alright, so let's show you the bee progress, because remember I inoculated that bee, and as you see here, I've got a ton of drones. So I've got rocket and tolerant go together. Excellent. That's been done, and my imperial one over here was done as well. Now, instead of inoculating the other imperial bees right here, I'm just going to breed in, like, the one from over here. There should be another Imperial Bee here somewhere. There we go. Oh, I've got two lots of Royal Jelly. I can't remember which one I needed to put in. Oh, that's bad. Got some Nobles there. Got some Diligence. We're also full up on stuff. Yes. Probably should put some stuff away. I think I need some... Majestic. 
Got any Majestics? I'm running out of them, aren't I? I've only got eight left. Maybe I should just breed Majestics for a while. Uh, it was the oh, you two can go together. That's good. Primeval and Majestics, they do go together. And here's been done. That one's been done. This one is needs one of these. This one's been done. This one needs the majestic. Ah, good to see. I'm weary. Queen's coming out. Nice. And they've been done. Sweet. Excellent. So there's our bees today. I could inoculate all of them to just try and make them all four times, but. It does use my charges up. And the reason why I did it to the Rocky is because the Rocky... I'm not going to be breeding in any of this stuff, pretty much. Look at the bees, they're flying away. Now, one thing I did want to do is look at tree breeding, but... I think we're going to make, have to find another place to put our apiary in the trees, because around here, there's not really much room to grow trees there. I mean, you've got these, but you can't really graft trees that are just decaying all the time. Because they're in a farm. So over here somewhere, maybe we're gonna have move our like B area, like near our port. Of course, I haven't done anything to the port today because I just haven't. So maybe we're gonna make a B area over here, like a area for the trees and the bees to all work in harmony. So that'd be cool for me anyway. <laughs> Probably not for anyone else. How is this going? Oh, already 38 through. I'm pretty sure it's the slime and the either one of the one of either cow, chicken, or pig that can combine to make the mutant cube. And as we have cow genome, we'll probably be using that. Anyway, it's time to head to the zoo. We do have some chocobo breeding to do, uh, of course, and also we have. Crap ton of stuff in my inventory I need to get rid of. Oh yeah, I killed some... I destroyed some trees because some Ents were, you know, doing what they do best and... Breeding everywhere. I mean, breeding trees everywhere. Alright, let's go to the zoo here. Ah, oh, still didn't do the Stargate mod. I tried to sort out Java a bit, but I'm still not sure what's going on with that. <laughs> Alright, where's our black chocobo? What? Oh, you're in the corner. Okay. Selfie and... Whiskers, is it? Grimy! You're not needed anymore. Sorry. Bye. Yeah, it's unfortunate I have to kill you, but, you know, I have... many mobs that I need to... spawn yet. Alright, so, Whiskers and Selfie. Whiskers, Selfie. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. We've run out of golden guy shores as well now. Damn it. How is... Paul is still sitting down. What a legend. Alright, so... We can put some Komodo dragons in now. Uh, I'm not sure if they're tamed up on birth. I'm not sure if I need a torch in here as well. Oh, there it is. Let's put a torch there just in case and oh keep watch okay let's do one in here as well because why not some torches in the middle there let's put let's do that both should hatch soonish we'll see a name pop up when it's ready hey that doesn't go there it goes there you can see my latest death where I died getting the Komodo Dragons. Ah, what's a good name for a code? Carl the Komodo Dragon. Why not? There's Carl. He's in there on his own. Oh, no. Is this one Carl? No. So it hasn't been born yet. Of course it can't be. Alright, so Carl the Komodo. His name tag is in the roof for some reason. This one should spawn in any second now, and this one's going to be called KT, the Komodo Dragon. Lots of names beginning with K around here. And there we go, some additions to the zoo. Now, I do need to make some more pens there, 
So obviously the panda bear will need its own pen. We have ostrich egg. I have an ostrich egg now, which the ostrich can get one. And I think we start building a big wall. And we also we need to do dolphins as well. I haven't seen any dolphins for a while. Not that I have been in the sea for a while. Problem with the dolphin pen, you need to make it not in an ocean biome, if that makes sense. And the reason for that is if it's in an ocean biome, sharks and other stuff can spawn in there. But if you make it in like a... For example, here, this should be like chaparral still. So if we make it in this area here, this would be a good area for dolphins. So we could extend the part. I mean, I was going to do it here. But it's not really much room to do it. Here would probably be the best idea. Around this bit. So we can dig that out a bit more. And all that good stuff. Don't really see many dolphins spawn, actually. And horses. Yes, we did make quite a few too many horse pens in the end. I mean, I was going to... I mean, we can still get more breeds in here, but... After doing everything, it's not something I want to do at the moment. Alright. Let's go. Let's go back. I wish I could just go back through this. But no. Definitely need that... Stargate kind of mod. That is one downfall, Mistcraft, for dimensions. Can't go in your own dimension. Blinking books. Oh well. Oh well. Not every mod's perfect. In my eyes. So the bee stuff, he was looking to move that, as I said. What the hell is that? Mr. T hat. Hell yeah. I want to wear Mr. T. Mr. T. Hell yeah. I put in the fall. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't confirm it. Mr. T. Where are you? Done! Aw oh, yeah! Some say he eats Snickers in a tank. Some say... Oh no. Other stick things. About half the people don't even know who the stick is. I guess you don't get UK Top Gear in like America. But the Stig. He's awesome. That's what my Minecraft skin is. The Stig. Stig is awesome. No one knows what the stick looks like. Oh, there's some chicken there. I want that. You can keep your eggs and feather. Okay, maybe we should harvest these while we're here. Let's try and get some goldens. Oh, I broke the bloody ground. Yeah, the only thing we need now is golden geysers. But. They're kind of difficult to get. It's quite rare chance. So I'm going to have to like stand here and sort this out at some point. I need a hoe now because I broke the thing. Another thing I want to do is make some upgrades as well. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I need to upgrade some of these, overclock them, because they're going so slow. Now that may make the power drain, but that'll be fine, I guess. Sure it'll be fine. We'll see if it'll be fine in a minute. Right, let's put all our stuff away that we don't need. We have so many chocobo feathers and stuff now. Uh, put the saddles in. We keep the bealizer. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. So, overclocker upgrades. We need some. Oh, we need loads. So there's these things. So to get these you need 10k coolant cells, electronic circuits and copper cables. So how do you get 10... So I need water. In a squeezer to get a water can. Is there any other kind of water? I can get a water cell. Probably a water bot. even a water bottle. That'd be good. But we need tin plates. 
Do we have tin plates? We have some. So we need lots of bottles of water. I know we're a place which has a load of bottles of water, strangely enough. And it's Restock's Potion Shop. So it looks like we're nicking his bottles. Really, Ents. Really, Ents. I can't even kill you because I don't have an axe on me at the moment. You're not planting your trees there. No. This is the worst place in the history of planting trees. To plant a tree. Let's put flowers back in as the Ent ruined them. Blame you, Ent, for everything. Screw you. Right, there is one way to get rid of him. It's to do this. Ugh. Let's go over here. Screw you. Stay out there. You're not welcome here. Ents. Just annoying. Just forever annoying. What's down? Oh. Didn't mean to fall down here. Now I've got an egg. Let's lob an egg. Get out of there. I was hoping for some other mods that would finally update. Like, the Mine Colonies one by now. Mine Colonies is something I really want to do as well. And the bloody dinosaur one as well is something I wanted to do, but that still hasn't updated. I thought the Rockies were nocturnal. Guess not. Guess not. Alright, so what was we off to do? We was off to make some overclockers. So we need some bottles of water. So we're going to need like one bottle, or uh, three bottles per overclocker. We're going to start with six overclockers, why not? So three per one, we need 20, no 18, sorry. So there's four, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to take... One, two, Four more off and then fill up the other two bottles. I wish bottles stacked. Bottles of water. Can they arrange that please? I mean... Oh god, we're not fighting you. But... Used to not have to... I mean, you used to have food not stack. It's about time they made bottles stack. I mean, maybe not potions, but bottles. Come on. you got to do it. Right, so let's make the coolant cells using a bottle. When it switches to bottle, we oh, really? It's not going to do bottle now. There we go. Loads of these. Come on. Run out of tin plates. All right, we need some tin. Tin and guts. Get your ass in here. Need to roll them. And we get some tin plates. Excellent. How many did we get so far? Don't know. We're putting them all back in anyway because this is how we make them. So we also need to make a load of copper cables as much as we can make. And then we need to make some electronic circuits as well. One, two, three, five, six, because that's all we're making for now. And can we make some of these? How many? Four? Missing some coolant cells. It's down to you, rolling machine. Need the coolant need the coolant cells. The 10k. Why are they 10k? Who knows? I know they're to do with the nuclear kind of thing. In fact we can actually put them in right now. So we put two of them in here, speed this up a bit. And we need to put two of them in here. Split them between these two. Ah, oh, this one's going a lot faster now. Much more tin done. Hopefully. Coolant cells. Come on. It's got two more coolant cells. We need... Like... Four more. That's going a lot faster now. Excellent. So this is part of the process that slows everything down. The ore washing and the centrifuge. And this goes actually a bit faster now, which is good. They can be purified crushed. 
Purified Crush goes into here, then we get the iron dust and stuff. We probably have lots of this dust. Let's have a look at the dust situation here. We have a thousand gold dust. Uh, can we get like millions of gold dust? Hell yeah. Stick all the gold dust in here. Do the same to tin. Uh, don't have much copper dust. We have some silver dust. Now all this dust, you, as you can see, you can find to make the bigger silver dust. And the tin, the silver dust, the gold dust. All this stuff can be can put into the macerator again. To get you some more stuff. So one dust will make you one ingot pretty much. Now the stone dust, I'm not sure what the use for the stone dust is. Apparently I can make CF powder. What's the use of CF powder? Don't know. What's the point? There's got to be a use for CF powder, right? Alright, let's stick some of these in and get them done. Got tin dust in there. Stick the other 15 in right here. Unfortunately, it doesn't take out from the other slot. So stick those in. That's another way to get... See, this is why we've got the ore washing thing and the thermal centrifuge. But see, I mean, you're doubling your ore, but this gives you, like, that extra bang for, for your bucket. Oh, don't turn that off. It gives you that extra, you know, bit of stuff to make, like... Sometimes you get triple your ore, pretty much. All right, so let's put this in here and see how quickly this works. So that goes in there. It still doesn't work quick enough, really. Let's put our stuff in here. We need some coolant cells. More of them. There we go. We can make our last overclockers now. There we go. Now, which ship machine needs more overclocking? This one doesn't work as fast as this one, I'm guessing. So I'm guessing put two more in here. Ah, oh, yeah, that's a bit better. So now we're getting our ore. I'm not quicker now. Let's have a look at our dust quickly because we did. I did put some more back in here. There we go. We want the silver dust to be done. Excellent. Bit more ore. You may be wondering why the hell you do need more ore. Well, you never know when I'm going to need all this stuff, do you? I wonder if there's any purified stuff in here. Purif. No, there's not. Okay. Good, good. Alright, so we've done the overclock upgrades. Upgrades are. Uh, maybe this doesn't work as fast as I think. I mean, it's, it's got a backlog now. Maybe I take one of these out and put it in here. Make them equal. I'm reckoning the power's draining pretty hard. Let's have a look. See, the thing about overclockers is they draw more power, as you'd expect. Yeah, the power's going down. So, we need to do, get some more power generation. I think it might be time to look at wind, maybe. Time to not have chocobos in this pen, though. Go away. Get out. No. Not allowed. Let's check out if our slime thing has been done as well. It should have been. So there we go, we got that. So now we need an extra data disk. Which means making an emerald circuit. I know. So let's go over to this. At mod.mad. And we need one of these, which means we need one of these. It looks like a run out of transistor components. Not good. My cow genome's in here as well. Excellent. This is not excellent. Go away. Killing so many random animals all the time. Okay, so our computer mainframe. Put slime DNA in. Cow DNA. 
empty data reel. Oh yeah, we need the water. We need... Yeah, the water's a problem with this, isn't it? Don't use the water, please. It's not using the water yet. Now it is. Oh god, not this again. I didn't put a necklace accumulator under it. Bucket. We need buckets. All the buckets. We need water in these buckets now. Let's go, 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 go. Many buckets of water. Go, 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 go. Oh, what the hell? Bit of a sound collapse there. Alright. Put more water in. And this should go... Yeah, this should actually give us the genome for the disgusting meat cube. Sequenced... S disgusting meat cube, yeah, just this. Have more water. Come on. We want the genome for this. I'm not sure if you have to give it an egg to actually spawn, because it's not actually a mob, it's like a block. And you fill it with like this mutant DNA, which I can't remember how to get. You can see I've got a bucket there. I could get a bucket. I can't remember which mobs give you mutant DNA. I think zombies, probably. Maybe just hostile mobs. Maybe slime itself might have done. If I didn't have to spawn in. Gotta keep it cool, come on. Gonna have to use all these buckets. It's almost done. Looks like it needs like pretty much 16 buckets to keep full. There we go. We have our cube. Excellent. I can turn that off. And we have our disgusting meat cube. Now let's put that in. Oh, there's our woolly cow genome. Forgot about that. This is not going to work without a egg. Do I actually make that with an egg or not? Maybe I do. I mean, it doesn't. Have... Disgusting meat cube is not an egg. It's this. Maybe I'm going to need an egg to get it to work. Or maybe I need the mutant DNA. Pretty sure I need the mutant DNA to fill it up at least. So if we did that, would it do anything? Apparently it's not. Apparently it's working. Maybe. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it will use the egg and make this sort of meat cube here. Let's just leave that for a second and go and check on our bees. Because why not? Chocobos, stop spawning. Please. Ah, um, god damn it, it went back to Rocky. And it's lost all its bloody fertility as well. Why? It's kind of annoying. Uh, we lost a lot of fertility with that one as well. Crap. So, that kind of sucks. Oh man. So it looks like you, the trait's not permanent. It's kind of annoying. Especially for the rocky ones since they usually have a times one. Yeah, I kind of figured that might happen. Yeah, screw you rocky drone, you're getting deleted. Have your buckets back. Alright, the meat cube is almost done. Pretty sure. Which one was it, this one? There we go, let's just let this roll out. So... been a good ride today we've done some stuff we made a uh, discussing meat cube which will be done we've done 
some like overclocking for certain machines so we can get and then we convert all the dust into like bigger dust which gives us a bunch more bars so that's helpful it really does actually help and things should be done faster with the ore processing now probably could do with some more overclockers at some point probably could do with getting some more water bottles for restocks so I mean we're not close to running out but I kind of like keeping the shelves full ah there we go ding and it's done excellent now we have this this meat cube should we put it in the window for people to see so this you can you can see here you can fill it up with stuff if we right click on it you need to fill it up with this uh, mutant DNA and to, what happens how do you why would you need to fill it up well if you punch it you get meat like that gives you a crap ton of meat now it makes an awful noise as well and if you fill it up with the DNA it will refill and you can get some more meat so that's like sort of a meat generation thing it's kind of, it sounds kind of weird anyway I think we're going to leave this episode for today anyway so thanks for watching that sound comes all the way over here, really. Oh, it looks like this has fallen. God. God damn you. That slime cube, I'm gonna kill it. Alright. No, no drum and bass. We have no dubstep or drum and bass amp kind of sounds. Get out of here. Your noise is annoying. Oh, damn, we didn't get it back. Oh, well. You can make another one with an egg. We got the genome. Got a bone from that. Oh, well. Uh, just let me put this barrel in as well before I forget. And then we're ready to end the episode. Barrel. Time to go in. Let's... It's easier if I just take it off and put it back on. There we go. All right. There we go. Episode ended. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.